Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, today I wanted to make a sort of combo of favorite summer items and just current favorites that I'm using right now um, that have nothing to do with summer. They're kind of things that I have been using for quite some time now. Um, I'm going to first start off with makeup because naturally I would do that. Um, so why don't we... Uh, should we do lip products? We can do lip products. Okay, lip products that I have been using constantly this um, or lately. I'm not even going to say this summer or this year, just lately. Um, so two things are I'm starting to become really obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury lip products. And I have two of them right here. This was the one that I originally got. And this is her lipstick and pillow talk and um, this is what it looks like and I actually got this because Kristen Johns suggested it and I love her lip colors because I think that they really are similar to colors that I just gravitate towards um, but this is that one and it kind of just has this really pretty um, pink shade with a little bit of brown in it it's so beautiful, oh my gosh. Right now I have a self tan, so um, you can't really see what it looks like on my natural skin color, but even on tan skin, this really works. And I think they do have different um, versions of the Pillow Talk shade for um, people with medium skin tones and darker skin tones as well. So if you wanna check it out, these are kind of pricey, but I just love the packaging so much. It's so feminine and very classy and it doesn't look too outrageous or too bland. Um, you also have the Charlotte Tilbury logo right there, the initials. And I think that that's really nice. And I love the ridges on the packaging too. This kind of reminds me of very like vintage um, vintage packaging back in the day with the lip products um but yeah so and the smell is really nice it has a bit of a sweet smell i wouldn't say it's vanilla and i wouldn't say it's like some annoying sugar cookie smell it's just very faint and sweet i'm gonna actually put some on right now And then I have another pillow talk. This one is the, gosh, what, what are these called? Because they're different. They're the same name, but they're just different um, lipstick finishes. Um, well, I don't remember. I'll put it down below, but um, this one is a slimmer packaging. And um, as you can see, that is the color. It's a bit different than the lipstick form um, but not too far off this has more of a pink undertone to it than the other one and it's more sheer and glossy so that's the slimmer one and I really like this one to just pop on top just really quick especially when I'm having a day that I'm wearing very very minimal makeup I love to apply this on just to give me a sheer color and a little glossiness to my lips. I always mention this, but it's my Revlon um, Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. This is in the color Fancy Rose, and this is what I had on my lips prior to applying the lipstick. Um, I love this so much. I put this on just about every single day. My lips have a pink tint to them, but they are, they definitely can throughout the day get kind of pale and I look dead. So, so I like to pop this onto my lips to just give it a little bit of color. And I have a video swatching all of these um, colors. So if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and check it out. But 
Um, this is the Fancy Rose, and it, it is by far my all-time favorite one. Um, and I'm going to swatch it on here. So it's just a tint of color. You can build it up if you want to, but that is what it looks like right there. The foundation that I'm loving now is Bye Bye Lines Foundation by It Cosmetics. It says it's an anti-aging skin smoothing invisible coverage. And I will say that when you put this on, I'm actually wearing it now, when you put this on, it does really look like your skin. And then on top of it, I put on my setting spray by It Cosmetics, and it's the Your Skin But Better setting spray. And I really love this setting spray so much. First of all, it smells amazing. Also, it's really good for your skin. It has a hyaluronic acid, coconut water, and aloe vera extract in it as well. Um, and it's supposed to promise like 16 hour wear makeup. I really like it because it sort of, when it dries on your face, it gives you a really nice glowy look to the face. Um, nothing too shocking or there's, it's not like a super shock, you know, cheek highlighter by ColourPop or anything like that, but um, it gives you just a really natural glow and I really appreciate that. I'm all about very natural skin, natural glows. Um, I can, I, if I ever want to do a little bit more drama on the face, I'll go hair, heavier on the lipstick or heavier on the lashes and liner or eyeshadow, but for my face, I really transitioned to wearing less coverage and making it look more um, like natural skin, not only on myself, but also on my clients, unless they ask otherwise. And I've been abusing these products a little too heavily, <laughs> um, but that's okay. This, I don't want to show it because it's so gross. Um, but it's called, um, it's a cream blush by MAC and it's called Sweet William and I got this so long ago. I think I got it, um, back in like 2000 and, oh my gosh, do I really want to say it? I think like 2012. <laughs> it's been a while, y'all. Um, oh my god, it looks so bad, but this is the blush. If you were to take a microscope and just... I can't even imagine. You know Raw Beauty Christy, how she goes in and she goes into like on her face and like her makeup products and brushes and she goes in with a microscope? I can't even imagine what this might look like. I think I would probably vomit or something, but um, this is a blush. It is a pearl finish, so it does give you a um, highlighted pink glow, but if you can't tell, it's a pink color. And I have it on now, um, but I love the way that this looks with bronzer, but also without bronzer. I've never been a person who uses cream blushes. This is, I think, my only cream blush. Um, but after using it more this summer, um, because I'm going for more natural, um, I think I really want to buy more from MAC. So. This is what I suggest, but it's Fenty Beauty's Cream Blush, and um, it's called Cheeks Out. <laughs> and this one is in Butter Biscuit, but the one that I use, yeah, this I used today. And it's just a really pretty, subtle, bronzy um, color. It doesn't have any kind of shimmer or anything, it's a very matte. Um, finish but I like this because it gives just a really nice um, hint of color and it's really nice and blendable on the skin as well and I just kind of like bronze you know along the areas that I need to bronze and it blends out beautifully and I just I can't I honestly can't express how much I really love these bronzers um, I have two of them I have one in the color macchiato which is the next shade up this is the second um, shade in the lightest color or skin color range. Um, and then Macchiato is the third one, but these are so pretty. These also are a little bit pricey for bronzers. Um, dang, I think I got a pimple. <laughs> these also are a little bit pricey for bronzers because I think they run about like $32 or something with tax and 
shipping and god they make it so easy to buy it like you just go on your phone to the fenty beauty website and you can even pay with like your your the card that you store in your apple in your phone and just like apple pay and it's really easy that's how i got both of them but it's dangerous um but yeah i mean if her bronzers are really good i can't imagine um her other products they must be great so this these are two eyeliners that i really love one i love a little bit more than the other but because it's drying out i've been using this other one so um these are two liquid liners i love liquid liners i love stila's liquid eyeliner because it's waterproof and i think it really it doesn't smudge it doesn't come off with water it doesn't sweat off or anything you can't like accidentally rub it off like it's incredible and then Urban Decay's um, Perversion Eyeliner, I think is a really good runner up for it. Um, if you have any eyeliners that you really love that are waterproof, um, that are liquid, or even the dips, um, I would totally love to hear what you suggest because I am always, always up for trying new liquid eyeliners. They are definitely my jam. I, the first time I ever tried out liquid liner was in 2007 or 2006. Um, that's like the first real makeup product I ever tried on myself because I really love the cat eye that I saw. I think it was like in Glamour magazine or Allure probably. Um, but I just couldn't, I was just obsessed with the cat eye and I was like, what do I need to buy? And at the time I think Neat Mark was a company and it was kind of like, um, what's Avon or something? And, but I think cooler but um yeah so I bought their liquid eyeliner and from that point on I was just like hooked on liquid eyeliner so these two are really great let's go into a few nail things I only have two nail things right now one is um nail cuticle oil <laughs> I love cuticle oil so much first of all I think it's well, my cuticles are always dehydrated, um, but I think that um, it's very relaxing to sort of put on some cuticle oil. Um, this is by London, Butter London, but you know, you can just, I think Sally Hansen makes some and they're just everywhere, honestly, but I just love how pretty and hydrated they make my cuticles and then they make my, my um, nails look shiny and this is actually my newest favorite color of this season it is by OPI and it is called Stop It I'm Blushing and this color looks so beautiful on most skin tones um, but um, I have just a tiny bit of a tan right now so I love the way that it looks with the tan that I have on, um, but also I've applied this when I am my original skin color, which is ghostly white, and I think it looks really pretty too, but it's just a really soft pink with a bit, um, it, it's, it's kind of like a really light, light salmon color. As for scents, this, I've been wearing this scent for, I think, about six or five years six or five years yeah um but it is the victoria's secret bombshell <laughs> it's a body mist can you believe it i don't put on perfume this one is dusty because i have one that i like keep in my bag but um this is seriously i get complimented on it all of the time all the time um and I don't care like I will continue to buy this for a while but one that my sister actually introduced me to is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Paradise Fragrance Mist and this one mmm it smells so good because oh, you have a hint of the original bombshell but also there's like a heavier floral scent to it as well that mm, I would say it's like more of a nighttime body mist <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not one to buy Victoria's Secret fragrances like 
especially not their body sprays. I'm out of that stage. Like, I think that I was definitely obsessed when I was in my 20s and like when I was in my teens. Um, but um, I just, I just think these are classic. This is a classic, and it just gives you really nice, um, fresh scent. So um, I have no shame, girl. I have no shame in my game, okay? Let me continue on with scents. And I am such a candle freak. Like, I love having candles in my apartment. I love lighting candles. There are candles on my bookshelves, on my um, dining room uh, table, on my coffee table, on my <sighs> TV stands, on my um, end table. There's candles everywhere. And I love a beautiful, fresh floral scent with just a hint of sweetness. Or I really love cedar scents or um, amber scents, something that's a little bit more musky. Um, that's fine with me too. But right now, this candle, I have it everywhere because I bought it the first time and I thought, I am obsessed with this scent. So I just continue to buy it and I always have at least three to four of them in my place. And I get it at Target. It is the collection by Chesapeake Bay Candle um, in Cashmere Plum. Oh, if anybody has smelled this, you won't know. It is an amazing scent. It's, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is a two wick candle, but um, they do sell some that have three wicks in them and I actually have one in the middle of my um, coffee table right now but it is such an amazing scent it is the freshest but also there's just like this really light sweet smell to it with just a hint of floral oh my gosh it's just so beautiful I just love it you don't even have to light this candle and you can smell it when you enter the home. It is amazing and I love the packaging as well too. I love white and black and um, I also like coppers and rose gold colors too um, in my apartment and tan. Anything very neutral I'm all about. So the design of the candle does really go well with um, my place so but this candle you have to go at least sniff it at Target just 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 sniff it I I challenge you to go sniff it and say that it doesn't smell freaking delicious because it's you know what it reminds me of like like I'm a grown-up woman yeah like I'm a grown-up woman and it's just my place just smells like heaven like that's what it smells like like grown-up clean fresh woman like that's what it, i just I don't know. right now for my face i like using the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen and this is the spf 30 um i just like it because it's really lightweight and it touch and it dries really um fast and it doesn't feel like greasy on your skin when you apply it to your face so i like that and then even when i put makeup on top it doesn't feel too heavy and then i am a runner I never thought I would say that, but I, okay, I'm not gonna, should I say that? I'm not gonna, I, I, I'm currently running right now five times a week, which has been good for my body um, and my health, and I need sunblock, and I like to use the Banana Boat Sport Performance. Um, this has SPF 100 in it, and I always wear like Razorback um, workout tanks. Um, and so this always helps protect my skin. But this is a great spray if you're looking for something and you're outdoors a lot and you're sweating and you need something that's sweat, res sweat resistant, um, then I would definitely get this. It's also really easy to just spray on and stuff. And you can spray your back and everything. My favorite sunglasses. So I'm not the type to wear sunglasses all the time. I just, I always forget them and um, it's just not part of like my, my necessary um, accessories pile, I guess. Um, but these sunglasses I love. They're very retro. Um, I 
got these at a vintage shop down the block from me they're no longer open but i just really like them i like how round they are and um that they're really simple and these are my new flashy ones um a dear friend of mine um gave me this for christmas chioma so shout out to chioma but look at these hot shades come on i think she got these from aldo maybe i'm not sure but these are bomb you can see everything like you see my camera and everything do you see the kids outside playing in the i don't know but these are so hot these would be on like my bougier days my flashier days <laughs> my beyonce days i'm bringing in a snack <laughs> this these popcorn squares or triangles or whatever popcorners i should say the kettle corn sweet and salty girl these remind me so much of the cereal corn pops if you guys have ever tried them though that cereal was one of my favorite cereals as a kid and these legit taste like them but popcorn style and look at this so it's popcorn but in the shape of a dorito It is too good to be true. Uh huh. How do I do it? Mm. I'm just gonna sit here and eat for a little bit. <laughs> oh. buy more last things to show you I am a huge fan of self tanner um, for a few reasons one it takes me quite a while because of my skin color to build up a tan second reason I don't want to cause any kind of premature aging <laughs> Or get skin cancer. It's my go-to tanner. I love it so so much. Um, it is a loving tan. You can get this on their website or you can get this at Ulta.com. I always pick mine up from Ulta. They make a, it really easy to be able to purchase your item online and go pick it up at the store. Um, but is their deluxe bronzing mousse. There's a few reasons why I really love it. First of all, it's a mousse and it comes with a mitt. Um, that I usually use to like tan my body um, with but um, it's super easy to use um, it doesn't leave any streaks on your skin it gives a really nice olivey tone so you don't look orangey um, and it covers really well and it is a really nice deep tan I um, I go from the medium color to the dark color right now this is the dark color and the dark is pretty dark um, but not clownish dark, you know, you're not going to look like, what was that tanorexic mom on TV? <laughs> there is a smell to it, um, the next day, even when you do wash it off, but I don't think it's, um, overwhelming in any kind of way. It's just like a very light scent. By the second day, it should be completely gone. One time somebody complimented my skin color and I was like, girl, this is a fake tan. This is not my skin color. <laughs> One that I just tried out that I thought, oh, this is pretty good. Um, it's the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Mousse, and it's in the color medium. And um, I would definitely suggest this one. This one has five fluid ounces in it, and this one has four fluid ounces. So this one's actually bigger than this one. It probably costs less than this one too. It has um, this is a coconut scent to it, and the coconut scent was really nice when I applied it. This one I only applied on my stomach just to test it out because I didn't want to like apply it on my arms and legs and like have it be terrible this i think um with tax is about close to forty dollars this right here i don't think is forty dollars at the at 
Target or anything like that. So I'll check the price and see how much it is. But I was pleasantly surprised with this. And um, the difference between these two is just that the tanning mousse, as you can see, oh God, because I'm shaking it up so much, it's starting to come out. Um, it, it has the tint on there so you can kind of see where you're putting it. This one is clear. It doesn't stay clear when you when it starts to dry on the skin, so you can kind of see where you're applying it. Um, this this one because it's tinted already as you're applying it, you can kind of see a little bit better what areas need more love and which ones are okay. Um, so that's my only the only con about this i wish it was tinted smell this one is coconut and it's actually very very good this is probably the best self um tanner that i've ever smelled <laughs> um because they usually don't smell the best well that is the end of my favorite video i hope you guys enjoyed it um it's gonna be kind of long and lengthy i'm gonna try to fit everything in so I don't cut anything out. All right, so I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever it is that you're watching this. Um, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions or uh, requests in the comments down below. And I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye.